Hello everybody, I'm Warren Bucklagner and you are? Chris Kroll. Chris, what kind of tie do you have on today? Oh, I'm doing it all sports. It's playoff season, so there's so many games going on and competitions, I'd figure I'd go with the, the sports. The reason we're here is we're looking at three um, very uh, interesting um, products that are coming out that could be very important in terms of reading in the classroom. Right here we have Booksy, and this was actually the first one that we tried. Yep, that was out a couple months ago. And um, then in the middle, we have the Ruckus Reader. Mm -hmm. and, and then on the right, we have uh, Storia uh, from Scholastic. Yes, another new one that just came across. Yep. And so you can see the similarities. We have mm -hmm. three bookshelves. I should say there are some platform differences. They're all running on an iPad right here. I know Storia runs on Windows as well. But for purposes of comparison, um, we've got iPad uh, we have the second iPad and first iPad, third iPads, which is important to consider. All right, let's discuss Booksy. This is our first one. One of the first things you notice is you can browse the titles. I can see what you've been uh, reading. It won't let you go go forward without putting uh, a child's name into it. You'll have to do the, the bottom row because those seem to be the fiction stories. Uh, with the top row or the non-fiction stories. But one of the things that really, that I liked about it was the non-fiction selection. They were good texts and uh, seemed to be very interactive and I, I like those. You want to go into humpback whales? Sure. Whales are mammals, not fish. Now this light is on, right? Yes. It, there's a record keeping system. Oh, okay. So this does have touch in here. Mm -hmm. Scaffolding. Miles. That. And I find this fascinating. Oh, keeps going. What happens if you touch a word? Different. Okay, there you go. That's I do really like this behind the book. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to kind of see that this is real. I go to the teacher dashboard, and I need to sign in at this point where I, I can see the reading log. Clearly an impressive piece of work. Now somebody put a lot of thought into this dashboard. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's go to Ruckus. Right. This is the, the bookshelf. You can see here I have collections, a little bit different. We promised we'd look at SeaWorld, so let's have a look at that. Did you, did you see how it just launched another, uh, kind of went into its eight. own world? Now that's cool. That is cool. That is neat. And that's, this actually brought one of my students who I knew was in, into sharks across the room when he heard the music and then saw the, the video. Animal bites. The whale shark is the longest shark. They can be almost 60 feet long. That is longer than a school bus. Then we can go to this. Skip pages. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, you can turn on and off the narrator. You can record your voice. And you can which record I like your that voice. A lot. Yes. Go! So you have to find which ones didn't belong. But it doesn't always, it's not always responsive. Finish the picture. Drag the correct letter below to complete each word on the screen. Go! And then drag through. Yeah. Congrats! You completed the picture. Earn That's more words. Keep reading the story and playing the activities. And then you say, okay, well, let's you know, find out more or make your own picture. Okay, you're making your own picture. And then here, back, you just go back into the story. So mm -hmm. it's not like you can find a home button. I did like the Scholastic the best. She if I wanna, had her map. If I want to go in she and had her map. look at it in that view or this view, look at the attention yeah. to detail of those pages. And that's what when you turn it this way, you're missing the other half. What is that lightning bolt, Chris? That is... Activity. Can you find these words from the story? Oh, wow. When you see the lightning bolt, it means it has interactive features. You found look. You found cut. You got them all. Can this one, I zoom yes, in? Yes, you can. Not this is more definitely more classroom friendly. Yes, absolutely. I, li I like and that. Yeah, I like that a lot. You can yeah. really quickly jump around in the book, and yep. it gives you both the information, both in this sort of format as well as the number counting. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what do you do? 
picture Draw starter. a new ending to this book. This is exactly what a lot of teachers will do within the classroom. You finish the story, okay, what would happen? What do you think was next? But it also has stickers on the side, too, so you could create a different picture with it so, and make it bigger or smaller. You can save it or clear it. They had a number of different levels as well. Um, we had the alphabet, but then also, oh, you didn't download that one. This is good because you can see how quickly how how it just downloaded that. This has the dictionary, so I can hear stories. The the word last, and so I can touch it again to look up that word last, and, and it'll read it to you. One, the thing that is last comes after. You get a feeling that you're reading a real book. You want a little bit bigger view. Yep. You can zoom in. Yeah, this is a Cirrus ebook reader. Mm -hmm. How through. cool is that? Yep. And that'll stay there. Yep. And I can also put notes in. I just put a note that said read this mm -hmm. um, by touching the pin. In theory, you could go through and customize this for your class. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we've done it. We'll follow these as they come out. And